Hello everyone and welcome to what should be a pretty long video. Today I decided to do a drugstore recommendation both makeup, skincare and hair care. So that's a lot so I don't know if I will split them into two or not I'm gonna see. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah I wanted to do something drugstore because I'm then gonna do for each category my favorite products but uh, some of my favorite products are a bit expensive so I thought I would do an entirely drugstore video first so you could check that out if you have a small budget like me. Um, for your information what is expensive is often very or very often gifts. Uh, I ask makeup and skincare and stuff for Christmas and my birthday because I really enjoy it. So yeah okay so first i am going to start by skincare and then i will move on to makeup i will put in the description below all the different bits with the time so you can try and just jump if you're interested in only one thing i hope i'm sort of center my computer is not working very well it has like a problem with the, the little thingy where i put the battery and so i have to put it up on a book for it to charge so i hope that i'm not like completely uneven I also hope that you won't be too bothered by the kids playing next door. Okay, so first thing first, I think everybody will have mentioned this in the drugstore recommendation and that is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Clean Cleansing Water. It's a micellar water, as you can tell. If you don't already know what micellar water is, uh, it's basically holy grail. It cleanses, it's very good for your skin, it moisturizes, it takes away your makeup. It's just really nice. and. You see, it removes makeup, cleanses, soothes, face, eyes, lips, no perfume, no rinsing. What else could you ask? And this one, especially, is really good. I sort of dislike the smell, which smells a lot like alcohol to me. Um, I'm used to a lot of French, other like higher end um, micellar water that my mom buys for me, and they don't have that smell. They generally smell like baby. So I was a bit disappointed by it, but it's a huge bottle. It's really, really cheap, and it works really well. It also works for taking your makeup off. Uh, it's not generally what I will use to take my makeup off, except if like a, a friend or something, and I forgot my makeup remover. But it's always good, like for double cleans. I use it every morning and uh, generally several times during the day whenever I need it. So there you go. In the same range, like the same brand, uh, it's my recommendation for a day cream and that's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm Water Cream Day Moisturizer Glow Booster blah 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 antioxidant. They say for all skin types and I have very sensitive skin so for me sometimes I feel like it can be a bit aggressive like when i have pimples and all it has tendency to maybe sting a little but it's very good it moisturizes really really well it's also a really really cheap alternative if you don't really have that much money to put in the day cream i know it can be a bit expensive sometimes and it works wonders like this is suitable for sensitive skin it works wonders it really does make your skin glow but what i like best is really some, uh, how moisturized your skin feels i'm looking I really really like the texture, it really does feel like water, it's like a bit of a gel, it's really it's really nice to put on your face, it's really refreshing, I think it's going to be great in the summer, and it's just really like I said moisturizing, and it has antioxidants which I like. I also like, I don't have it with me, but I also like of the same range, the um, mask, their, t their face mask, like the tissue mask, first of all they're really expensive, I think they sell for 2p or something, and a lot of the times they're half price at Boots, so then like 19.19 pins or something and it's really cheap and it works really well it's like super moisturizing apparently one mask is like half a bottle of serum and i really enjoy them so if you have a bit of a tight budget the entire range is great next i have a night cream and this is one i have been using for about a month and i do feel like my skin is a lot more moisturized and brighter and just like nicer in the morning suppler and like really and it's just really soft and that's the botanics uh boots hydrating night cream all bright brightens and hydrates overnight for normal to dry skin i have a bit of a dry skin i can be a bit oily here but otherwise i have a bit of a dry skin and it really works well i really enjoy it just like that one they are both pink inside, which I know seems ridiculous, but it really ma it really makes me want to put it on. Uh, so it makes me want to get moisturized and everything, which is always good. Put it on every night, and it can be a bit thick for people that don't have dry skin, so I would recommend only for dry skin. But I think the same, like it's all the Boots brands, so we have lots of different choices if you have different types of skin than I do. I really like it. And it's botanics, so with everything botanics just like make me feel better about myself. Uh, so with hibiscus, I'll show you like the little 
and it's just really nice. It has a bit of a look. It's not exactly pink, but the other one is properly pink. Anyway, it's just really nice to put on. It's really soft. It's really refreshing. And I really like it. And it smells like plants, and I feel nice when I go to bed. My next thing is a mask. So besides the face mask, uh, the sheet mask I was talking about from Garnier, I have been trying and really loving this L'Oreal Skin Expert Pure Clay Detox Mask. They have three different kind of masks in that range. I uh, so like I said, I'm using the the free pure clays and charcoal. And this is for let me check cleanses and clarifies and so it's really good for me because like I said I have oily skin here but otherwise it's very dry it's mixed kind of skin and so that's perfect it works wonders on pores it really has been working and it really does detoxify and I feel like it mattifies my face it's really nice it's really easy to apply I also really like the packaging it's very sleek as you can see there's quite a bit for the price that you pay, there's quite a lot of it it's really easy to apply and you keep it for like 5 to 10 minutes I also really like because uh, I also really like it, it's a bit gross but when you w put it on where you have like um, black pores and everything like you know blackheads and everything it shows up and so it, it like shows where it is and it, it makes me feel cleaner it makes me feel like it's very efficient uh, and like it's just so nice and I have always a very nice bright skin when I'm done and I feel like my skin has been detoxified which is the point just really enjoy it so I would recommend this uh, the other ones are purity mask which deeply purifies and mattifies and glow mask which brightens and exfoliates next I have a cleanser and this is the visibly clear Pink Grapefruit Cream Wash by Neutrogena. I'm not sure this is still going on. I know the range in itself, the Neutrogena cleanser range like this, still is on, but I'm not sure if that one especially is. I'm really annoyed. That's why I have like still a full one, so I'm really happy. Uh, but I really love them. They're really soft. They're great for sensitive skin. Uh, the cream makes it exfoliating, but not as as harsh as my, the one my mom has, which is the orange one. I can't remember. Which is a bit harsher on my sensitive skin. Can be a bit too much. Can dry my skin a little bit. It's a micro clear technology and all Neutrogena stuff like that. And they say gently cleans this to help prevent spots and blackheads without over drying the skin. And that's exactly what it does. My skin feels so clean and bright after I've used it. It does feel like it exfoliates, and it's really, like the grapefruit makes it really, really fresh and really nice to apply. So in the morning, when I feel like my skin is a bit gross or something, like I have a lot of blackheads or spots, or my skin feels a bit oily, or like I've used micellar water, but it doesn't seem enough, I use that cleanser. It's really nice. I always bring it everywhere with me. Just really enjoy it, and it smells delicious. Like I, I don't know. It's just, it's just really nice. I just really enjoy it. So yeah. I don't know if you still do it or not. If you don't, just any of the range is good. Next, which is a bit pricier, pricier and which you also might have heard of, is Pixie and Caroline Hirons Double Cleans. I'll show you. So I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't, uh, I'll explain quickly. Basically, Double Cleans is one side there's a solid oil, so when you take it in your hands it melts, and the other side there's a cream. So the solid oil takes all of your makeup away, like it melts in your hand and the makeup, it's a bit messy when you do it, but it's very nice, it takes it all, it doesn't uh, hurt my eyes, which generally a lot of makeup removers do, even micellar water sometimes do, and that doesn't. I used to use a cleanser by uh, Lush, which is ultra brand, and even ultra blend, and even that was a bit too aggressive for me, this doesn't do it at all, and it doesn't leave any greasy film like Ultra Burn used to because I then cleanse again with the cleansing cream which is really soft and feels my skin really and leaves my skin really moisturized and soft and I just really really enjoy it. It's a bit pricier than the others but it's really worth it. I'll show you just uh, putting in stuff. It's also made by a YouTuber so you know. Just like that. And so one side you see I've started it. I don't know if you can see but one side is oil and one side is cream and it's just the best I know that some dermatologists say that the one cleanse isn't great so that's up to you I personally never feel clean enough after taking my makeup off if I don't wash my face again even if I take it with any other kind of makeup remover I will either put some micellar water on or have a shower or use the Neutrogena cleanser anything I never feel completely free of makeup until I've double cleansed I've been doing this since I long as I can remember I didn't even knew I didn't even know it had a name back then 
and to me it for me it works really really well it keeps me from getting too much blackheads and makes me feel really clean and it always leaves my skin very moisturized next i'm moving on to more body things and so first i'm gonna have this shower gel which is a yes to soothing body wash yes to cucumbers um first of all that bottle is huge so it will last you a very long while it's very cheap and i just like the brand the yes to brand it's so uh, very like a lot of it is natural it's it, it's just nice there's green tea cucumber in this um and it is 97% natural ingredients and it's paraben free and I've just enjoyed it, it's really soothing, it's really fresh uh, when you come back from a hot long day, it's wonderful on the skin and like I said, it's really cheap and really big so if you're on a tight budget, I would definitely recommend this but also, that's more for the summer and this is more for winter whenever you want to be comforted that huge bottle of Dove Caring Bath Almond Cream with hibiscus it smells amazing, it feels like you're being wrapped in a blanket, it's really soft, I feel like it leaves my skin moisturized, although I will say it's really thick and if you really need to rinse it well, otherwise I feel like it's clogging up your skin. But a huge bottle, again, quite cheap and it's just very nice and like you know that Dove is good for your skin because it doesn't leave like soap or something. Anyway, you know what I mean. And it is just really really pleasant and it smells amazing. I mean... I just love it. Uh, I use it almost every night that all the guests you alternate because I just love them so much. I also am using the Bath Latte by Zoella but I didn't put it in there because those are cheaper first of all and although it's nice it's not my favorite. Next which is a bit random but which I thought I would talk about even though it's not very glamorous is deodorant and for me it's in England at least in France I like to use um, another brand which i'll probably talk about when i do my video about french pharmacy products uh, but in england i always use the compressed dove invisible dry i like the spray better than the roll on i know sprays are like supposedly cancerogen and everything but i mean everything is cancerogen this day and also the roll on i feel like they get really dirty i don't really like them i only take them on the plane when i can't have a spray but yeah, the invisible dry leaves no white mark whatsoever it never stains my clothes which i love because i wear a lot of close to the body, uh, uh, I wear a lot of like tight clothes so I don't want to have any mark and it really does help and it really keeps transpiration and smell away so that's always nice. And we say it has moisturizing cream and it's just just like it you know it's it's very practical it's very small and I enjoy that brand and I just trust that brand. And last for skincare is a Zoella Wondrous Whip wondrous whip lightly ripped body cream i just love that cream i will put in the description down below the link of my review uh, i won't talk about it too much it smells wonderful it has a great texture and it's quite cheap but it does still f it, although it's quite cheap it does still feel quite luxurious on your skin and it feels like you're really taking pleasure and putting it and like taking care of yourself um so i think that's always good if you want something a bit fancier a bit more luxurious to, m to make you feel good it's still very moisturizing and it smells heavenly and it's still a nice little pot Moving on to hair care, I don't have a lot of things for hair care, I only have a couple just because I haven't found any shampoos or conditioners that I really 100% love uh, when it comes to drugstore I use more higher end uh, shampoos because I don't like sulfates, I don't like silicones, I get allergies a lot I do like some of the ultra blends the honey one but they have a silicone free shampoo but it leaves my hair really really greasy and they also have um a conditioner that we've had that's really nice but that i feel is not enough for my hair so i will maybe do their own review for those uh but i don't feel like i should recommend them i've tried a lot of different shampoos and maybe i'll find one that fits me at the drugstore if you have any recommendation please do it's just right now i don't feel like i love them enough to tell you about them I do however like the French brand Chloran if you want to look it up, it's, it's pretty good. Ooh. What I do have is this, which is uh, the Botanicals Fresh Care Safflower Rich Infusion Softening Ointment. Those are sulfate free, uh, those are silicone, paraben and colorants free 
and they feel really nice. I know they also have conditioner, mask and shampoo, so I may end up using them, uh, but this is to put on your hands after washing your hair, just so it's like a leave-in, um, a leave-in, like, a leave-in ointment, ointment, I don't know how you say this, a leave-in, like, a mask or something, or you can put it before uh, doing your hair just to make your hair look a bit smoother and just like moisturize it a little bit for me It has been working quite well. I feel like it leaves my hair quite smooth Especially when I use it right after washing it. It does keep the like fly away down I have like actually I have a quite a bad hair that I need to go wash them But I didn't have time to do it before But I have loved them so far. I really like it. I really like the smell of it And it was pretty cheap so I might try the rest of the range and tell you about them and the next thing is a staple and that's a tangle teaser this is like the mini one the tribal one it's the one i like best because it fits perfectly in my palm i also like the color and we have lots of like cute stuff like hello kitty and stuff like that star wars it's really cool and this has changed my life and changed my hair it doesn't break my hair it untangles so easily i can slip it and anything because it's so small and it's just wonderful it's like pain free you now when I have to brush my hair which it never used to be and uh, I can use it on dry hair like wet hair it's just it's just lovely and it's really easy to wash to clean up so I just really enjoy that it's a bit expensive for, if you look at it for a, hand, a hair brush but it will last you but it will last you a long time and it's definitely worth it to me moving on to makeup uh, I have a lot of lip and eyeshadow products because that's generally what I tend to buy in bulk whenever I feel bad or whenever I need cheering up I'm gonna buy lipstick or eyeshadow it's just what I love the most about makeup so we'll keep them last <laughs> and first I'm just gonna talk to you quickly about face stuff so my first thing is a primer and this is a brand you will see coming back a lot in this drugstore recommendation for makeup and it's the NYX or NYX I think it's supposed to say NYX like the goddess shine killer primer they have another version which is a pore filler which is supposedly a dupe for professional from benefit I haven't tried it but this works really well it does keep my shine off my face it does make me feel really mad and I feel like it has improved the way my makeup sticks on my face. I really like it. It's extremely, it's really, really cheap for what it is. And it does the job wonderfully. Next, in brushes, I generally use higher end brushes. And the only ones I can really recommend as a Max Factor X, which are those like baked blushes. Let me check. This is a cream puff blush, and this is in Gorgeous Berries. I'll show you. I just like if they're big bushes and they look gorgeous. <laughs> it's a bit messy because it's still some duct tape. They look absolutely gorgeous. They're really nice. I really enjoy them. This one is a bit dark for me, but they blend really easily. I need to try like a lighter one. I don't get to wear it a lot because it's quite. I don't know if you can keep it up that. But it's really pigmented and it's quite dark for me. Although I really wanted to try a berry on my uh, on my skin. I'm really pale, so it sort of looks bizarre. But I think for darker skin tones, it will work wonderfully. And I just like them. They're really nice. They're really small. And it was really cheap. Next, I have bronzer. And I don't wear a lot of it. I'm not really good at it, if I'm honest. But I really like the Body Shop bronzers. I realize Body Shop is not something you could find in Superdrug or Boots. But it's sort of the same price range. And uh, they're really, really good, especially for fairer skin tones. Like, I have a lot of trouble finding stuff in the drugstore when it comes to my face. Just because I'm way too pale. And generally, you have like three or four different options. Like fair, light, medium, dark, and sometimes extra dark. Uh, and that's about it really and even the fair doesn't fit really well but this works really nice it leaves a really nice golden on me I'm gonna try and try to show you hang on I don't think this will be picked up but it's really nice I really like it so it's great for fair skin it's quite well pigmented it does not too much fallout and I've just been enjoying it really, really a lot <laughs> I'm sorry if I keep moving I just have to grab stuff Next, which probably should have been before, but I don't use any foundation. I may get into BB creams and CC creams again because right now I have trouble with my skin. I'm getting breakouts mostly because of my hormonal cycle. Uh, I'm getting them more and more often, so I may get into BB creams, but I really hate the feeling of foundation. However, I do use concealer, even though I probably need better coverage under my eyes. And I've just started using a drugstore concealer. I've done them being very pleased with uh, the higher end one I had, which was the makeup. Uh, 
what is it makeup forever hd one and so i'm using this nyx nyx hd studio photogenic concealer this is in O1 and it's the lightest they had which is not quite light enough but it's still pretty good and I've been liking it really well it blends really it, it blends well if you had if you need a lot of coverage this is probably not enough but if you need medium coverage it will work and uh, they have a lot of choices when it comes to skin tone I was really impressed by that for drugstore makeup they have a lot of choices so you should find something that is not too expensive they also have like um, the color correcting ones I also use those but haven't featured them because I'm not entirely pleased with them um, I've used the dark circles one in orange and I haven't seen a huge improvement uh, on like how well it, well it covers with and without so I'm also gonna try the collection ones next time and I want the little palette that they have with all the different colors and I really like it it's creamy but it's a bit hard to blend sometimes and it has a tendency to crease especially under the eyes however I do use the green one often on pimples and that works really well it's mostly like under the edge that I wasn't entirely pleased with it so I'll try others and I'll tell you for concealers I definitely recommend this next for face is highlighter and I love this liquid highlighter also by NYX <laughs> there's a lot of NYX um, and it's the Born to Glow liquid highlighter in Sunbeam and it's just so this is like the lightest one it's a bit pinkish I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks my cupid's bow and a bit along my forehead and nose and I love it it's so subtle you can really build it up if you want it's so nice and pretty it's just really gorgeous and they have different shades which I think would really complement different kind of skin tones which I think is really good and the fact that it is liquid to me is just easier to use I might try powder at some point but I feel like liquid is just more subtle and more natural looking and I've really really liked it and again it's always quite cheap so I've really enjoyed this so far um, I'm really liking it and it does make me feel like pretty peach healthy and like glowy and dewy and it's just nice Last for uh, face makeup and it's all again it's NYX and that's a dewy finish setting spray which is uh, long lasting and it has really improved the way my makeup lasts I really feel it I also feel like it's quite moisturizing after putting all that makeup to spray on your face it's just really nice it's again very cheap they have also a matte version of this and I've been told it works as well as the Urban Decay one. I don't know if that's true because I haven't tried the Urban Decay ones, but it's just like really efficient and I really feel like it's really helped, you know? And I just like the feeling of it. It's just really nice. Um, I've talked, uh, I've took my friend into buying one and it's just like a new thing that I do now. I got into the habit of doing it at the end and I can tell that it really helps with my face makeup. I don't have foundation, but this concealers, like the blush, the highlighter, bronzer when I wear some, even like my eye, uh, my eyebrows, I feel like it has really really helped. Moving on to eye makeup. First I have an eye base, uh, so an eyeshadow base and a, like a primer and that's the Kiko eye base primer. I feel like it does a great job, it has really changed the way I apply my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow. I didn't think I needed one and now my eyeshadows are so much more vibrant, so much more pigmented. They last well, they last a lot better than they used to even though they were always good to begin with. It's, it's just better now and it's easier to blend and it just really brings out the colours a lot, especially with my Urban Decay eyeshadow palette uh, the naked I really love how it works like it's what I'm wearing right now and it's just really nice and bright and I feel like it does the job for such a small price so I would definitely recommend this and also from Kiko a lot of this is actually going to be from Kiko for the eyes is this perfect IGO highlighter pencil so it's not gonna be no it's not there's a white side and there's a more pinkish side the white side is really great to highlight under your eyebrows just put it along your eyebrow line and the pink side i like to put in the inner corner of my eyes it's just really really good it's like it brightens up the inner eyes and makes you look a, little, a lot more away which may not look like this on me right now but it really truly does so i'm a big fan of that i've really really enjoyed it and i use it a lot and it's still lasting and going strong so that's good was the two first things then moving on to eyeshadows i have a lot of kiko 
I don't actually use a lot of drugstore eyeshadows. Uh, I have a really want to try the Makeup Revolution ones and more sleek ones, uh, but otherwise I don't really use them. I have a couple palettes that I really, really like from higher end. I have the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach palette and I have the Naked one. I'm looking forward to getting the Naked Smoky palette, uh, but it's mainly that that I use. However, I do have a few Kiko ones that I really like. One of the first Kiko ones that I had was this uh, Colosphere Duo eyeshadow. I have it in several colors. This is my favorite. My sister got this for me. And it's the 103 and it's just so nice. It's a shimmery pink, which is so good for highlighting your eyes, like for the inner corners and things. It's just so nice. And a dark shimmery and also a shimmery black. And they blend really well together, they last quite well, especially with the eye base. For the price, they really last quite well. And I think they're great, especially when you're styling your makeup bag, or for younger kids, but younger girls that are just styling to put makeup on. I think that would be great because it's easy, it's colors, it's always colors that go together, so you don't have to think about it. It's basically like buying an outfit already made, you know? Like, you don't have to think about it, it's, you know it's gonna go well together, it lasts well, it's really easy to blend, as I find, and I just really enjoy them. But they're really cheap and they come in a large variety, so there's something for everybody. And the same sort of uh, idea are the Bright Duo Baked Eyeshadow. So I'll show you on this one. I have the number 15, which is, I don't know if you can really see, it's like um, a dusty pink and a mauve. I'll show you, hang on. So those are square. So yeah, shimmery, dusty pink almost lilac and a deep move which I really like and they I find are even more blendable and feel a bit more creamy I'll try and hang on so yeah I find them to be even more blendable I don't know if there's a new version of this I don't think so uh, it's just a different pack um, and a different collection and I also have the O3 which is pink and grey, mauve grey. It's just really nice. They're all shimmery so they're really great for like nights out and everything but they also have some neutral shades. But like those ones they also have dark ones and then they have more funky ones so it's pretty good. And finally if you want a bit more eyeshadows uh, also with Kiko I have this. Oh again but oh my god it's such a mess. Hang on let me grab another one. <laughs> Sorry, I've had to move again. The one I wanted to show you was broken. So I have those which are like uh, the Color Fever eyeshadow palettes and the little quattro. This is number 103. And I think they're really great for wanting to do little smoky eyes or if you want to have a larger collection of the same variant of sh like same sort of shades. And it has a little mirror. As you can see. And it has a little mirror. And so as you can see four colors a light one this one i'm sorry you can see the computer a light white a shimmery gray shimmery blue and a matte black and it's just like really really nice they blend also easily and i think it's great because they're like really made smoky pack uh which when you start uh, putting makeup on or if you don't have a lot of budget for really good you can just pick they have different versions and they each have like an eye color in mind so there's a bunch of neutrals like uh, golden and everything which are for blue eyes and they have purple for green eyes etc and so i really like them uh they're not my favorite eyeshadows ever they don't blend as easily as the one i have wear right now but they're still really good and i think they're a really good starter pack and we'll probably do at some point a starter pack video next also by kiko but different sort of eyeshadows are those eyeshadow crayons they're really shimmery <gasps> really shimmery and creamy they blend really well they have a billion colors i have them in like eight colors i have in my hands i have a light golden brown they're long lasting sticks eight hour no transfer eyeshadow this is number 25 and i also have the number 02 which is um a light gray they're all very shimmery all very creamy it takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of it to really blend them right and not make a mess on your eyes and not look like a panda but once you do get that it's really nice looking it's great for parties because it's very pigmented and like, I generally buy three sticks that go together so I have this light uh, gray and I have a darker gray and I have a black 
and I just really like them to do quick smoky eyes or just to go all over your eyelid. They're really cool and they're really practical and easy to use once you have practiced a little bit. Finally a different brand and that's another, that's for like a bit slightly bigger eyeshadow palettes although I can't recommend any big eyeshadow palettes I know that there's a lot of places that do them a lot of brands but I just haven't used them so I can't recommend them I will come in sleek this is the eyelust eyeshadow palette the gold standard I'm in love with this and I haven't been able to use it because it's coming to an end and this was a limited edition oh my god it's a huge mess in there I feel a bit ashamed to show you this it looks like you know what paint is. It's just it's a huge mess. Uh, but I was going to I'm gonna have to buy another sleek palette and just say goodbye to this one because it's broken and it's old. But I loved it and I used it a lot my first two years of university. I used it a lot at the theater. It has a bunch of neutrals, they are very creamy, very easy to blend, gorgeous pigments, like they come out really really well on your eyes. Uh, this one had a light like a light sandy color light pink gold copper bronze and shimmery purple and it's just they're really nice it has a little mirror which is always good it goes also it comes also with a brush of course it looks disgusting right now because i've had it for way too long and i just need to say goodbye and accept that it's gone <laughs> but i don't want to but uh i really recommend sleek for the eyeshadows they're really nice i really love them and this is so six different eyeshadows which is a lot of different looks that you can try out and i think we probably have bigger ones I will definitely, I will definitely try more of their sleek, and I'm gonna go into makeup revolution and stuff like this to try them out and tell you what I think. Probably do like um, starter pack video, like I was saying, and recommendations for palettes and lipstick and all this. Really enjoy it. I also almost forgot to mention the Kiko Cream Crush long-lasting eyeshadows, which are cream. Uh, eyeshadows and they have the prettiest colors they're really easy to blend and I really think it would be good also to start with because you can just put one color all over or blend two together and they're really nice and very, they're very shimmery and they're just really easy to blend I think that's beautiful and they have beautiful colors so I thought I'd mention them quickly and last in the eye section is mascara I really love mascara but I never get it right. I have very thin lashes but are already pretty curvy. I need a lot more volume, like it barely shows right now that I'm wearing any mascara. But to me it's a huge difference on when I'm not wearing it. And I used to use high-end mascara, especially I had the Volume by Chanel. And it was getting a bit clumpy. It wasn't very easy to use. And although I loved the formulation because it didn't dry quickly and it was just really nice and it felt really light on the eyes. Uh, it wasn't adding that much volume and it wasn't that wasn't that much it was supposed to be waterproof but that wasn't really the case and it got too clumpy too clumpy for the price. And so based on Doyla's video, I started using the Lash Sensational Maybelline. I do like it very much. It does change my eyelashes a lot. I do see the difference. It dries very quickly, which can get it clumpy, and it's I feel I think it's a bit heavy on the eyelashes. But if you're looking for more volume and longer eyelashes, it's really really good it does really improve your eyelashes and it comes in black brown and i think other colors and this is a waterproof one and it's true that it's like it's a good staple it's something that i would recommend like it's really really cheap i think it's one of the cheapest mascaras out there and it's worth a try i'm gonna try others next i'm gonna keep like a bottle of this one somewhere and try others next because i do think it dries a bit too fast and it feels a bit too heavy but for the price it's really awesome and it, it like i said it really does change your eyes so i would recommend that as you may have noticed, I haven't recommended any brushes. I mainly use Spectrum brushes and Sephora brushes. So I would recommend the Sephora brushes if you have a Sephora nearby, but in the UK you don't. Um, I do think that I will try the Real Techniques ones because everybody raves about them, so I'm sure they're great. And I will tell you to check those out if you don't know where to look for because I've heard wonders about them. And I'm gonna try them. I just have been saving up to get the Bold Metals one and a few others. So I'll get those because I already have quite a few eyeshadow um, eyeshadow uh, brushes that my mom bought me from Sephora and that I got from Spectrum. So that's my recommendation. However, again by Kiko, I do recommend the brush cleanser. 
<coughs> sorry, I'm a bit sick. But I do recommend the brush cleanser, which is this little bottle. It works so well, just spritz it on your brushes and then you take your brushes in a tissue, just wipe it away and everything goes. Like it's crazy. It works so well and it's quite cheap. It lasts you a long time and it's just really efficient. So it's always good to keep clean brushes. Clean brushes means clean face and clean face means no spots, no pimples, no nothing. And it's just it's very nice. It, you have to leave them dry, but I sometimes use them right away uh, in my eyeshadows. It just makes my eyeshadows a bit more pigmented. It's just like uh, it's honestly really, really nice, and I would I wouldn't have thought about it if I hadn't seen it. But I got it, and I've never changed the way I change my uh, clean my brushes since then. I know that now they've come up with different things, but this to me is the basic, and it's just so quick to do. Sheep, 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 boom, wipe, and it's done. Finally, I'm going on to my lipstick side, my lipstick dresser recommendation. And this is going to be the longest bit because I love lipstick. I love many different colors and brands and I wanted to cover a lot of them because I think they all have different advantages and um, inconveniences. inconvenience. So I'm going to talk a bit about some of them. This is a very small portion of my lipstick collection. I think at some point I will do a full on lipstick collection video and i show you then but in the meantime this is some of my drugstore makeup first i'm gonna start with the proper lipstick and my first one is this rimmel lipstick so this is the I'm trying to find i'm trying desperately to find the thing this is the the only one lipstick in 2010 movement and those are perfect nudes I have a slightly darker one. This is almost the exact shade of my lips. So when I don't want to look like I'm wearing anything, it's perfect. I have another shade of this and it's just, they're so beautiful, they're so pigmented, they last so well, they feel really creamy and really moisturizing on your lips. It's just, they're really nice and they're really, really cheap. So I definitely would recommend this. I definitely recommend that. Also, Sephora lipsticks. Not as much of a fan, but I would recommend them because they're quite cheap and we have a billion colors and I really otherwise enjoy them. This is a Sephora Rouge in R03 Passion Red and it's my first red lipstick that I ever bought so I think I have some sort of emotional attachment to it. Next I have this Kate and Rimmel lipstick which is actually the one I'm wearing right now which is a 107 again it comes from um, Zoella video and I got it really recently and I really loved it and I've been wearing it for a while and talking for a while and it's still on it hasn't budged I really like the um, color payoff it's not very easy to apply I found but it's quite creamy and it dries really well without getting too drying I don't know if I maybe maybe it's not perfectly applied i'm sorry if it isn't but it's not too drying but it stays on really really well and it's very comfortable to wear and i really like the color which is quite buildable next is i'm, I'm mentioning this without having worn it a lot so don't quote me okay but i would say that if you're looking for a lipstick with a really nice packaging that looks quite cheap that is quite um simple and but you have a lot of choices i would go for the revlon because they're really small they go <laughs> like you can slip them in anything pockets bags suitcases anything and you have a lot of choices i find them to be very elegant and they don't look as cheap as they are and this is a coral that i really really like and it is number 750 and this is a Revlon super lustrous lipstick creme and it's true it is very creamy and this is 715 kiss me coral and last of the lipstick and probably my favorite when it comes to drugstore lipstick is this Buzz Bee lipstick and it's just first of all let's talk about the cute packaging that looks like a beehive this is the 522 Crimson Coast, uh, which I really like. I also have it in a more corally color. Uh, this comes na comes out so nice, so creamy, so moisturizing. It lasts so well. It even smells nice. I just love it. It's so light on your lips. It's so comfortable. It has a billion different, like it has so many qualities. I have a few shades, different shades, which are really nice. And I warmly, warmly recommend them because like, I, I just was so blown by this. It's very lustrous. It's very creamy. Your uh, your lips feel so moisturized and mine have a tendency to be cracked. It just that's really well and I really love that color. It's just everything I like, especially with like dark blue with pale skin. It just looks really, really nice. I actually think I was wearing it in a video recently. 
Hmm. So yes, definitely go for the Buds Bees if you have dry lips and you want something that will moisturize at the same time as being, as being very, as being quite lasting with a good color payoff. That's all for the real lips, real lipstick. Moving on, I'm gonna show you like some lip gloss, lip crayons. You'll see what I mean. Those two. This is a uh, Nyx Chunky Dunk Hydrating Lippy, and this is basically like a Clinique uh, chubby stick. It's basically the same thing. It is quite glossy when you put it on. It's quite light. It doesn't last very, very long. You'll have to put it on pretty often. But if you don't want to wear something that is very quite bold or that is quite dark or that looks quite serious, for example, if you're a younger viewer, like a young, and you want something quite light, they have a lot of different colors. I also have this one in, in, in a sort of like very pink, bobby pink color. And they do look glossy. They're really easy to apply because they look like a pen. So what I do is I do the outline of my lips like I would like with a with a liner and then I fill it in. It's actually quite funny to do and it's very pleasant on the lips. Uh, this is the number 10 Sherry Smash. And yeah, I think it's a really good alternative to use a chubby stick which is a bit more expensive, a bit more on the price uh, And it does uh, the exact same thing, like chubby sticks don't last very long either. So this is really good and just like keep it in your bag and reapply it every so often. It's just a nice pop of color that is quite fun. And in the same uh, style but a bit, <laughs> this, is, this is a bit old, I've had it for a long time. Uh, this is the Kiko Creamy Lip Gloss. So this is a proper lip gloss and this is 106. I also have it in a pinkish color. And l contrary of, con like those still look a bit like creamy lipstick, this is a proper lip gloss. It can be a bit sticky, but if you're looking for more of a lip gloss alternative that will do the trick, it's also easy to put on. Again, it's not gonna last very long, but it's a good deal. And like we have pale colors, again, for younger viewers or starter packs, maybe at 14 or 13 you don't really want to wear a bold red lip or something as dark as what I wear usually. It was a, it's a good trick for that. I don't wear a lot of liners, I generally just wear my lipstick and I wear only liners with certain li like liquid lipsticks but whenever I do I use the NYX lightness. This is the one that I think is for Copenhagen. Hang on, this is a Dark Soul 011. S P S L L P O one Dark Soul one. It goes exactly with my Copenhagen uh, liquid lipstick, and I wear a lot. I buy a lot of my liquid lipsticks from uh, from NYX because I really like them, and we always have a matching shade in liner, so that's why I get them, and they are really cheap and they last a long while, and they're just really nice, and they have a good color payoff, and they last very well, and because they're really thin, it's really easy to be precise around your lips. So of course, I'm finishing with liquid lipsticks, and I mainly. When it comes to drugstore makeup, I mainly use NYX. Uh, this is a soft matte lip cream. So if you're not into proper li uh, liquid lipsticks, this is sort of an in-between, which is quite good. It's more comfortable and more lightweight, but it still stays on a really long time. They have a lot of colors and uh, it's the same principle. It's liquid when you put it on. It just doesn't dry quite as much. It can be a bit drying, but the colors are so beautiful. This is the 20 in Copenhagen which goes with the liner I just showed you. I also have it in Monte Carlo which is a really gorgeous red and I really really enjoy those. They're really nice. I also like the Colourpop ones but because we can't get them in the UK I wasn't really going to show them to you but to me the Colourpop are slightly better. They have um, a nicer finish I would say in the fact that they don't dry and crack your lips as much. They're a bit more comfortable. However I really like that, that colours for the NYX. But to me, I found my perfect liquid lipstick in the Tanya Burr liquid lipstick and I wasn't expecting it at the moo and it's a gorgeous little dusty mauve pink and it's so nice, it's so comfortable, it's very very lightweight, you barely feel it, you barely feel it's on your lips. It's a gorgeous, the colour is absolutely gorgeous and it's just, it's really comfortable, like it's the most comfortable one. It feels like a normal lipstick or even less than a lipstick, it's just really nice to wear. And it lasts all day, it's crazy. 
So yeah, that's it everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoy drugstore makeup. I also really like higher end of course, but I think it's really cool that we have some available, some really good products available at cheap prices and I really wanted to share that with you. Do tell me what's your favorite drugstore makeup. If you've tried things that I haven't so much like other mascaras, maybe bronzers, foundations that you would like to recommend, don't hesitate to put it in the comments down below. I hope you've had a good time with me even though that was a bit long and that I'll see you very very soon for more reviews should definitely be on the lookout for shorter ones and I'm gonna do makeup tutorials and lots of little lifestyle talks and just little chatty bits so I hope you'll enjoy that and I will see you very very soon I'll put everything in the description below and hopefully you can find something you like so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and bye bye!